Divine Rising Wild Hearts, it is I, Kadaura Roshan, your Mindset Manifestation Coach. Again, I am a coach, not a therapist. That means I'm about aligned, committed action and next level transformation. And today I really wanted to talk about just the courage it takes to seek and grow through personal development. I feel like courage is a word that's usually used when it comes to posting content and, and telling everyone your story, but it's so easy to forget that it takes courage to even just sit here and watch my video, to uh, go on social media and listen to other people speak about their experiences, or to listen to a podcast about some form of personal development, whether it be healing, whether it be growth in your personal life, your spiritual life, and or your business life. Courage isn't just the act of, you know, hiring a therapist or hiring a coach or paying for a program. It takes courage, you know, to just admit to yourself, you know what, there's some things in my life that I went through that I haven't fully healed from and I know they're impacting every area of my life. I truly believe that we're all multidimensional beings and I also believe that we don't have business problems, we just have personal problems that show up in our business. What that means is if I have something going on in my personal life, it is most likely going to bleed out or flow into and disrupt my spiritual journey and my business journey as well. And I've been privy to that so many times in my life where I had something, maybe uh, I'm trying to think of an example, some of the things, the wounds I have from my family and feeling like I was abandoned and feeling like I was never seen and feeling like I was never good enough, that at its core deeply rooted inside of me started showing up in social media to where I was blaming the algorithm. I was like, oh, there's something wrong with social media. There's something wrong with this content. There's something wrong with the people that are watching my stuff. There wasn't anything wrong with the algorithm. The algorithm is the algorithm. What was really going on is deep down inside, I felt like when I had people that would unfollow me, that was triggering my abandonment issues. I was like, oh, they're unfollowing me. I thought we were great friends, what's going on? And that used to really get to me. Years ago, when someone I thought was a great friend would unfollow me, it would really get to me and I would take it personal. And I just thought it was about the friendship, but it wasn't just the friendship. It was actually the abandonment. I felt abandoned by that person. And I felt even more abandoned because my biological father left without saying anything. And these people were leaving without saying anything. Over time, I began to learn I don't really need an explanation from them because I do the same thing. I have unfollowed so many people based on me feeling like their path and what they're doing and what they're saying is no longer in resonance with my journey. So I would unfollow. And I got to respect and allow that to be the same thing and the same mindset I take into these connections. There's maybe something I have done and or said in my life that did not resonate with them, so they were doing what is best for them. That is how I worked through that. Other things I struggled with, with not being good enough, I felt like my content wasn't good enough because I was on that followers, I need more followers, I need more likes, I need more comments train. I was, you know, trying to be like everyone else. I was in everyone else's lane. For one, I don't want to be in anyone else's lane because that's their own journey of success. What I do want to be in is my lane of impact. I get to focus on my legacy. It's just really hard to focus on my legacy if I feel like I'm not even good enough. Like, how can I create this legacy if I don't even feel like what I'm putting out is good? And when I got to the root of that, again, I'm always going to go to the root of all of my issues because I feel like it's never really the thing that's present in the moment. It's connected to something else. It could be something present or new, but for me, it's usually something from my past, something I suppress. Never felt good enough for my mom, never felt good enough for my dad, didn't feel good enough for my family and friends. And that poured out into my content. I felt like I wasn't good enough for my community. The truth was, I wasn't talking about the things I know in a way that my community understood them. I, most of you know, grew up in Japan, was raised by the Yamabushi mystics. So I learned things in a very um, uh, like emotionless way. You know, some of you have seen like these great masters and monks where they're just very emotional. That is how I grew up. I grew up in an environment where my teachers would give me information and it would be very, there'd be no emotion behind it. <clears throat> so they would say things to me that were very, um, they were like riddles to some people or they were very esoteric. Uh, and I would share information in the same way, but I learned that in this day and age and the community I'm around, that doesn't 
resonate with them. They don't understand it that way. So I really got great at using analogies. So when I would explain things, like I was talking about the algorithm to people once, and I was like, imagine the algorithm is like God's source universe, and our hashtags are our affirmations and things like that. So if you're going to post something using a few hashtags allows the algorithm or God to know where to send and guide you for support. Because as human beings, I feel like we desire support from God's source universe or whomever you may believe in. But the universe doesn't really know how to support us. If we're like, I'm going to make six figures this year. We've set this goal. We put the energy here. And what happens next is the universe goes, cool. Well, how are you going to do it? How do I support you? So we start doing these little things that actually allow us to get supported. We start posting online, whether it be social media videos, doing a podcast, writing a book, going out to events and things like that. As we start doing these little things, the universe goes, got it. I know what you're working towards. And I also know what you're doing to get there. Let me start guiding people in your direction and giving you all these opportunities. That is something that's really helped me in my personal life, my business life, my spiritual journey of rephrasing things in a way that more people will understand them. I truly believe that I can talk to the person that's at the top of the mountain for the rest of their life and the person that's walking downtown in the same message. It may be a longer sentence and... I just get to use an analogy that they both might understand or just use two analogies in one sentence. But the purpose of this message, again, was to remind you all about courage, the courage of just watching things and, and allowing yourself to learn. And yes, the courage of me speaking about these past things and my authentic self and my origin story. That's also powerful. That's courage. And I want so many of you to know that so many of you have these brilliant stories that you feel like people may not resonate with. And the truth is, if you experience it, there's someone else in the world that is also going through something similar. You won't know until you share. So I definitely invite you all to allow yourself to share more about who you are, where you come from, the challenges you've had. Because if you're only up here talking about all the successful things to some people like me, you're going to look like someone that's just suppressing and bypassing everything. But when I get to hear the nitty gritty things, the real struggles and the real challenges that people go through, like most of you know, I'm an army combat vet. I've had, I had PTSD really bad for over a decade. Been to war, had to take the lives of other people, watch some of the closest people to me die. That wasn't an easy journey. But in that journey of allowing myself to journal and to cry and to take accountability for pulling the trigger and to know that I signed the contract and all of these things, I became the man I am today. I became the person I am today. I became the leader and the guide I am today. I am a maverick because I allowed that rebel rogue in me as a soldier to transition into this mindset manifestation coach that also does brand strategy and things like that. I'm a maverick now and I embrace that. But I wouldn't be that person if I didn't have those experiences. So I don't regret my past. I, I have been sexually assaulted as a child. I've been assaulted as an adult. All of these things have happened. They haven't been fun experiences. And I've been resilient. And I know many of you have been resilient as well. You don't have to go into the details of every single story. But allow yourself to connect to people in a way where if that is your audience, let them know your truths. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I am Kadara, sending you all many, many, many blessings and blessings on your day forward as you embrace your courage and you continue to watch more content, you receive, you share, you give, you do, and you allow yourself to just be in all areas of your life. Mm. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh.